separating his people, separating the people of God for the intended purpose of God. God has a purpose intended for his people. And what does God do for that? God separates each one of his people in Jesus Christ through his Holy Spirit for the proper functioning that he has intended for each one of us. I, thought, I, I guess you have understood that. We connected with sin and that's, uh, that's coming on the way. But I just want to mention the definition first. So definition is God setting apart his people for a particular purpose which glorifies God. So our intended purpose is to glorify God. And that is why God separates each believer in Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. So, when we are saved, when we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, we are positionally sanctified. But that is just the starting. That is just the starting point. That is the initial phase. And from there on, we go progress. We take our steps progressively every day of our life, leading to a holiness that is a standard set by God. But Isaiah 6, what we see, God is holy, holy, holy. The superlative degree is using those word, the, the word three times. As I've said before, Hebrew, there is no superlative word. So they use multiple times, repeatedly, if they want to specify something, the importance of it. So God is holy, holy, holy. And if we need to reach that holiness, the Spirit has to work inside us. And eventually at the time of coming of Jesus Christ again, at the time of our glorification, we will be finally, finally sanctified or perfectly sanctified. And that is the third phase. So positional sanctification where we are declared holy at the time of our conversion when we accept Jesus Christ. Progressive sanctification, the curve that happens once we are saved towards our journey to glorification. And the third sanctification or third phase is perfect sanctification.